This is Dabu7, and this to me really is some big time information here, and it shows what's really going on behind the scenes. As the mainstream media now for months has been trying to tell folks there's this Russian-Trump connection and, and all this other stuff trying to paint the picture that Trump is in bed with Putin. Well, believe it or not, what comes to light out of all these theatrics is that in 2011, Mr. John Podesta, of all people, that was advising Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, he had joined the board of a very small energy company called Jewel Energy that is based out of Massachusetts. About two months after he joins this board, a Russian entity called Rusnano put a billion rubles into it, which is about $35 million into John Podesta's company. Now, what is Rusnano? Rusnano is a private company. It is a fund that is directly funded by the Kremlin. In fact, the Russian finance minister called Rusnano Putin's child. So you have the Russian government investing in one of John Podesta's businesses in 2011 while he is an advisor to Hillary Clinton at the State Department. They go on to ask if any, uh, anyone in Trump circle has any connections like this, and they say no, not that they've discovered thus far. But this is big time because he went on in 2013 to advise Obama and everything else. So you're talking the man that was at the center of everything they were talking with Pizzagate is now at the center of the biggest proof that we have that the Russians were paying anyone in our government. And this is the thing. When he went in in 2013 to work for Obama, he had to disclose all of his financial stuff in his portfolio. He failed to mention that. He left it out. But now we have the information coming to light that this is exactly what happened. This man was on the board of this company, and then out of nowhere, it starts renting money from Russia out of Rusnanu. And some of the mainstream outlets are actually talking about this. I don't see all of them, but I've seen a couple talking about the facts here that this man's busted. Now, knowing how controlled the mainstream media is out here, I'm not sure how far this will go. Knowing how heavy the cens censorship is here these days on this platform and just getting the info out, we'll see what happens with this info because they want to keep coming after Trump, whether you love him or hate him. This is big time in terms of Podesta, a man that was overseeing Hillary and Obama, was being directly funded by the Kremlin. Now, this should have been the true substance, the true news that was blasted all over the place. But, of course, timing is everything. They didn't want a peep of this getting out while the whole election thing was running. So Podesta connected to many things at this point. And here, once again, he's at the heart of this huge scandal where the company where he was at was receiving $35 million dollars directly from the Kremlin. You can't get in any more direct connection to Russia and the Kremlin right there. I will continue to update on this. Shout outs to everyone out there that plays their part and shares this information. It's the only way it's going to get out there the way it needs to. It's appreciated when people step up, fight the fight, play their part. More than you know, I'll leave links. It's been Dabu7. This is Kaluminati.